Slippy Limpets video. We are fly fishing today. Uh, we're at a little river, uh, which is absolutely heaving. This is normally a little flow, a little trickle. Uh, I thought I would come up here to the highest point that I could to get away from all the tributaries and hopefully the flow might have been a little lower because the river's bursting its banks further down the valley. It's still pretty, uh, pretty high here. It's unlikely we're going to catch anything, but we're going to give it a go anyway. It's just nice to be out in the moors and out in the air, uh, the wilderness and lots of sort of swifts and swallows flying around on the river and it's very nice and peaceful so I'm just going to get geared up and uh, walk off down see if we can see any fish. So I'm using a four weight fly rod. This is slightly longer than the usual one would be for a stream like this because it's a 10 foot but it's designed more for nymphing more than uh, this type of streaming because I don't normally fly fish at this time of year. It's normally uh, used for Oh, those fish are feeding really well. Uh, used for nymphing in the winter for grayling when I can't get to the sea. I have tied on size 12 daddy long legs. Um, just put a load of gink on, I've taken the barb off. And then I've got about an 8 inch piece of leader to a small size 12 again, I think. I've actually gone quite big for this because uh, the water's flown so quickly, but it's a uh, black. Um, hairs here. Uh, nymph again barbless and the idea is that daddy long legs floats on the surface as a dry fly but it's quite large so it should be able to suspend the the nymph that means I can cover both bases dry fly and nymphing so let's get on to it let's see if we can get one of these little fish. I do really like this type of fishing as well it's it's lure fishing obviously because there's no bait and it's almost like the freshwater version of LRF. I, I know you can use ultralight tackle in uh, in rivers, but it doesn't get much lighter than a half gram uh, fly and some one pound leader, which is which is what I've got on. Oh, those fish are going for it. The only problem I've got, apart from not being very good at this, is the wind's blowing in my face. So it's, that's one of the other reasons why I've put quite a high, uh, heavy uh, nymph on. But hopefully the daddy can take it and uh, and sew the fish. Let's get to it. Come on, fish, show yourself. A bit further out. I can't get a good turnover with this fly. Well, I've just moved away from the uh, the water because. Uh, <clears throat> Even the drone spooked them, which is probably unlikely, it's more likely me. I've spent 15 minutes kind of sitting here hoping that the fish would come back. I've just seen one, probably about that big, breaking the surface. Just over on the edge of that eddy where the, uh, the edge of the white line is. So I'm going to <laughs> give it another go. They were really active down here, but I must have scared the hell out of them. One's feeding, oh there's another one there. Yeah, so they've just started feeding again, so come on. Let's see, I don't know what type of fly it is down there. My entomology is rubbish, but it looks, my daddy long legs looks like it, so uh, hopefully that's enough. I was waiting for my time for this gust of wind to uh, disappear. Right, let's do a few casts. Oh, yeah, that one 
one came right out. I can see where it is now. Just need to cast a bit further. Oh, I think it went for the nymph. Daddy just disappeared there. dry oh a little jump let's get on the reel god I've such small fish don't have to have some power I can't believe he's just taking it on the dry it's just holding us I can't can't pull him in <laughs> Trying to go downstream. Come here. I need to turn it. Oh no! <laughs> I've only got one pound leader on. Oh, it's a good one. I'm a bit worried. I don't want it to go into that run. Oh, if it goes down there, I'm screwed. Oh, it's a... God, look at my rod. It's bent. it round this way. Oh it looks fouled. I think that's why it's can pull it out of the oh there we go it's unfouled. Just a hoop. Oh. God it is going mental. Trying to get it out of the flow. this way who would have thought a fish like that would <laughs> give me such a scrap oh, it's, it's much bigger than the last one god he's got some strength still holding on Yeah. Yeah, he's fouled. He's hooked in the belly. Oh, that is a stunner. I 
that silver. His little teeth. Oh, that is a stunning fish. Let's get this one back. He's about half a pound. Oh, it was a wee. What a beautiful looking fish. I was a little bit disappointed that uh, I didn't hook him in the mouth, but um, still went for my fly. Still caught him. Hunt a gatherer thing. If I was hungry, I could have eaten him. I didn't half hold on there. I thought I was going to lose it. If it had gone into that run there, I would have been screwed. I'm only expecting fish about that big. Uh, hence why I'm using one pound leader, but that's uh, it's just made my day. Especially because I had one earlier and I don't think I've been re uh, recorded it, which was devastated. I thought that was going to be my only chance. Yes, get in! Oh, this type of fishing's great. Especially something to do when the uh, sea. I mean, I prefer lure fishing in the sea just for the size of the fish, but with scaled and balanced tackle, it's just as much, uh, almost as much fun as pulling in a big pollock. I wonder if there's any more out there. <laughs> <laughs> saw the first fish and had first had my first fish then I moved to here and then I cast had a hit on the other side of that bank there since then I've uh, I've not seen anything so I'm gonna work my way back walk back to my bags and maybe have a few casts and then probably call it a night go home and uh, drink some beer and reply to some of the comments from you guys which uh, have been great got a little community going now and well that, that, that's not good it's the only problem with fly fishing. It's worse than getting a bloody wind nut. I'm not getting that out. So it's probably a good enough time to call it a day, I would say. What a cracking little afternoon. Made the most of it, I think. You know, as I mentioned, the seas just can't go anywhere near it with a nine foot swell. The river's really swollen, but I've come as far up as me uh, as my license would allow, and uh, I found clear water and some fish. So I've had two, uh, one on the nymph and one swiped at me uh, dry fly, but I caught it. <laughs> Cracking little fight it put up mine because it was uh, sit side on in the water. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed myself. I uh, hope you have too. Uh, this is the River Coquit, by the way, and uh, my license is from the uh, Northumbrian Anglers Federation. You can apply online at Northumbrian Anglers, or uh, like me, you can buy it from a local shop, which I've got mine from um, McDermott's in Ashington. Uh, I think you can get it from Fraser's and Gateshead, and uh, probably a couple of others as well but um, obviously that's only useful if you live in the kind of northeast of England or visiting. Um, the license itself gives you access to three rivers. The Coca here is the main one, loads and loads of double bank fishing. Uh, the River Tyne and also the uh, the world famous River Till. Uh, all good salmon and sea trout rivers as well so I think my uh, the license trout license which is all I've got cost me 60 pounds 
uh, for the year and or for the season which with the amount of water that you get access to is uh, is brilliant so um hope you enjoyed the video something slightly different just a short session as well so not as uh, not as long as usual if you did enjoy the video as ever give it a thumbs up and leave a comment please and uh, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button for us yeah until the next one tight lines <laughs>